Hey guys, yeah. it is June 2nd, 2019, 7 p.m. And to annoy Amanda, 7 p.m. in the evening, which also annoy Ariel. <laughs> this is my CNN cartoon. Uh, this is episode 495, right? And uh, after I drew this, I realized, well, no, well, actually I drew this one first, and then, and I drew this here at Amanda's house, and I drew it pretty late, and CNN was even emailing me like, hey, where's the cartoon? But uh, I was also working with a producer I don't normally work with, but she calmed down. Uh, well, she wasn't super excited. She's super nice. And um, the funny thing is, I drew this rough first. I drew the rough before any of the other roughs I sent them, and then they weren't responding, so I sent another rough, and another, and the next thing I knew, they had seven roughs sent to them. And then they said, hey, we like the very first one. Like, well, you didn't tell me that after you did the very first one. Of course, they probably want some more anyway, just to see. But I was really glad that they picked this one because I thought it was like representative of how weird I can be. Or, or at least the potential of my weirdness. Right, baby? Maybe? I don't know. She's ignoring me. And um, there was like aqua bots or something in the background. So just ignore this. There was photos of Jay Sekolo that was coming up. Who turned out to be pretty easy to draw. And... Um, but I drew this uh, here at Amanda's house. I was running late because I missed a train, which we already went through that story. But you may not have heard it because you might have stopped because of all the squealing that was going on. We, uh, I, I have, I'm going to say we, since I had some help clearing that up. Let's look at my old drawings of Juliana there. Um, we figured out the squealing, get rid of it. It was pretty easy fix. Just had to be aware of it. Um, and But then I drew another cartoon. I got the idea Saturday morning of doing another ship one, and I thought, Oh, that's good because my clients could use one since this is for CNN and I don't send these to my clients, my other clients. And uh, I do a lot of Giuliani cartoons. You can look there. I'm look going through them. And um, that might freak you out if you're watching this and you're like, what? Um, what was I just saying, baby? She doesn't remember. She's not listening. Paying no attention. Um, oh, yeah, I was drawing the last cartoon. And I was doing that Saturday morning, and I was going to publish it pretty late, like around noon, so we could hurry up and get out of here and go do some fun stuff, because Amanda was spoiling me all day, and doing just a fabulous job. It was like the best birthday I've ever had in my life. And um, and then after I drew it and I posted it, I was like, you know, that looks a lot like the other cartoon I drew. I mean, I drew the same ship, and ended up going in the same direction. And then Amanda said, yeah, I was going to say something. <laughs> Why didn't you say something? But anyway. Uh, oh, I drew the same ship. I was saying copy somebody's ship. Um, but nobody online has seemed to have had a problem with it, except for maybe Ariel pointed out. Ariel is the only one to comment on the last one, but that's okay. I went to her to get this video made another way before dinner gets her. And uh, Ariel also said that she's loving her some Amanda because Amanda's like getting me out of my comfort zone and at least with trying Korean food. Um, I get out of my comfort zone to try new things, new food anyway. I'm not afraid of new food. But um, I will say that Korean food is the one food I've never been a huge fan of. But I'm not sure if what we had was actually real Korean food though, but it was awesome and delicious. We had for Korean fried chicken, and trust me, it was amazing. It was like the best skin I've ever had on chicken. And uh, and yesterday, I forgot what I called, what the other thing was, but we had these, um, these Korean tacos with beef, right? What was on the tacos? Kobe. Something, okay, Kobo beef. That's Japanese, by the way. And um, and what was the other thing? Was it pork in it? Pork buns. Pork buns, yeah. That was the thing I wasn't a huge fan of. Um, but yeah, the, the tacos were great, and the chicken was just like out of this world. I love the chicken. So we're going to do the chicken again someday. Someday, more chicken. Maybe during football season, we're just going to get nothing but wings. Um, but da, 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 da. anyway, that's three minutes of this. So shout out to Ariel, uh, who was very, very glad that the squealing is gone. And you guys are absolutely right. If you're just coming in now, what happened was when I installed the program, I forgot to, to kill, or well, I forgot to mute the, the, the audio. And if you're Republican, audio means stuff that you hear. Um, <laughs> I mean, I just got this look on her face. And I do that in my blog all the time. So. Um, I was just playing that to her, not to you. But it was easy to fix. I just had to be reminded that that thing was there. I don't know why I figured it out the first time, and I never recorded it before. Uh, well, I, I figured it out 495 videos ago, and then I totally forgot to do it. Um, when I did the new program, or the same program, but just on the new computer. 
So, I really, really like this cartoon. Uh, this is one of those that was seen in that I was really excited about. It's like, yes, yes, that's the one I wanted to do too. It's the best one. There it is. There's your rough. And there's the final one. Complete it. I, I lettered the, the text and speech balloon like 10 times because for some reason it just work, wasn't working out for me. And Laura caught USS not exonerated because I did have uh, SS. And she told me I needed the U without any periods. So I fixed that up. So thank you, Laura, my copy editor. Um, proofreader, copy editor, slash, saving my life, genius. All right. Thank you for uh, watching. Click the red button, subscribe, say something, leave a comment. I will give you a shout out. Goodbye.